Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. Today I'm going to answer a question about how to record uh, the audio in Audacity through a microphone and then get rid of something like the an air conditioner or something like that. So in some of the video I'll have actual microphone input and in some of the video I'll have input from the uh, the computer itself instead of the microphone to cut out some of the the echoes and all of that as you can hear I do have the air conditioner on I'm not going to switch out the audio for this video because I want you to hear how annoying it is so anyway here we go hey so now you can hear that I actually have the air conditioner on through this microphone and I'm going to record directly into Audacity now. And I'm just going to do a little sync test with. And now I'm going to just say something, whatever I might want to say in my videos or whatever. And I'm going to go on and let it in now. And here we go. And I'm just going to do a little sync test with. And now I'm going to just say something, whatever I might want to say in my videos or whatever. And I'm going to go on and let it in now. And here we go. Okay, now. I'm going to show you how to actually take that sound out and once I'm done I'll go on and switch back to the the other mode and let you hear how it actually sounds so I have this whole area uh, let me go back to the beginning you can see this is where it starts and I, I spoke here, so I'm not going to need this part at all. I could actually cut that out if I want to. Uh, this part, you just click and drag. You find a place, say here, click and drag. And now you go to Effect, Noise Removal. Um, I'm not sure if, if these are actually effects that come built in or if, if they're actually something that comes from the my audio studio or not I think this particular one is built in though so I'm just going to highlight this area go to effect and go to noise removal hit get noise profile I'm gonna go hit control A to select it all go back to effect hit noise removal again and now I'm going to just hit OK As you can see where I had selected that and if you go all the way down to the end, all of that is, it looks like there's nothing there at all. So anyway, I'm going to go on and start back at the beginning and let you hear how that sounds. And I'm just going to do a little sync test with... And now... I'm going to just say something, whatever I might want to say in my videos or whatever. And I'm going to go on and let it in now. And here we go. Okay, so from here, there's another thing you can do to fix your audio up. Uh, say I don't need this part here at all. I'm not sure exactly how you do this in Audacity, but 
there is a way to cut it if I can find it. You just hit here, I guess, hit cut. Well, maybe not. Yeah, you have to select it and then hit cut. Okay, so I want to take out that entire first area. I'm going to cut that out. Uh, so now, what I want to do is I just want to see if this audio I want basically what I want to do is make it so that this part here is as loud as it can be without having that air in it so what I would do is select this entire part and I'm going to come back here, and I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. I've not done it before. You should hit, be able to hit normalize. And, and now I'm going to just say something, whatever I might want to say in my videos or whatever. So it's not going to sound good coming through this microphone. I will play a sample in just a second, though. And... I'm just going to hit OK, and you can see the waveform actually went up. And what normalizing does is it takes the audio, it finds the highest peak, and when you're, say you see this as the highest peak, if I want the rest of it to be normalized, I could actually select each part differently or separately. Oh, I'm messing up. So anyway, I'm going to go back to normalize. Just hit OK. And you can see how that does. And forgive me for clicking that. It's not something I meant to do. Sorry about that. Uh, so really, you should not normalize anything that... more than once I'll say from my experience anyway so I'm going to normalize that and I'm going to come back and normalize I'm going to go on and do the rest of the track because it looks about the same the rest of the way through and just hit normalize on that and I'm going to switch over and let you hear how that sounds now and you'll notice that these do not get any louder by me doing that. So I'm going to go on and go back here. And here we go. And now I'm going to just say something, whatever I might want to say in my videos or whatever. And I'm going to go on and let it in now. And here we go. now as you can hear it actually I have taken out the airy noise I've also made the voice as loud as it can be without making it too loud it's not clipping anywhere and it is loud enough that you can hear everything uh, this helps you to set the microphone back a little bit further from yourself and it allows you to actually go through and say okay I don't want this background noise so take that out you want to take the background noise out before you normalize though else you will end up with a lot of background noise that it will not take out uh, and this is just how you do it all in audacity uh, since audacity is a free program and this is what I showed how to do the voiceovers with so anyway Thank you for watching and I hope that this helps.